So the latest movie that I watched was You Were Never Really Here, which, which is a beautifully shot film about a man named Joe who's struggling with PTSD and is always on the on the edge and he has been hired to save sen the senate's child who has been kidnapped and used as a prostitute. Yes, this film gets really dark. But as we go on, Joe realizes that everything is not as it seems like. I don't know, maybe the best way to describe this film is um, Drive meets the Joker. Because, well, firstly it stars Joaquin Phoenix and it is about a guy who feels like he's a reject and not part of this society and he's struggling with mental health issues. But then again we're talking about a guy who goes around at nights with a freaking hammer and <laughs> And just like beats up a lot of be a lot of people for money. Also, this film is like full of hallucinations and full of flashbacks, and the film like never actually explains anything. Everything just kind of happens, and it leaves a lot of lot to the audience to discover by themselves. And there are a lot of shots in this film that you cannot be sure what is what does it mean. So I guess I could do a full-on analysis of this film. This film was actually like really fascinatingly well done. Firstly, Joaquin Phoenix makes a great role as Joe. Also, the overall feel of the film is kind of odd actually when you think of it, because at first it feels like really basic um, kind of um, underground vigilante film with vigilante drama film, then it suddenly takes a really fucked up turn, then it goes back to the basic underground vigilante stuff, then it shows th shows some flashbacks and some hallucinations that our main character is having, and then again we get to get back to the vigilante stuff, and then, and then we see hi him try to kill himself. And it's like, what? It's really, the, fe the feel of the film is really odd, and it just makes the, audi makes, makes the audience just like really uncomfortable throughout the film, and like, it captures trauma in a way that it hasn't been captured before on a film, or at least I haven't seen any films capture trauma like this. I don't know, maybe part of it is the soundtrack, because... Because, again, it's also really weird, because first it jumps from um, your kind of like 80s type of like synth pop kind of thingy to a really eerie, very melancholy um, type of music. And it gives off that kind of like eerie feeling to the film, and yeah. Also, I like the fact that this film kind of like um, focuses on the aftermath of violence. And never like it truly shows that much violence in front of the screen, because that's because the because the main focus of the story is actually Joe and his mental health issues and how he's struggling with them and how he's trying to save this one kid, who seems to have some meaning to Joe now. Yeah. So overall, I like the film. It's fantastic. I have to see it a second time, and this is one of those films that probably sh I probably should have done a video essay on, video essay slash analysis on, but I'm working on another. So would I recommend this film? Absolutely. If you like more like slow burn and more artistic films, this is probably one of those films that you should probably watch. Yo guys, thank you so much for watching. If this video gets six six likes and nine comments, I'll do the analysis video of this video of this film. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Bye.